Last day in Colorado and we're hitting the road tomorrow to start heading towards Madison. We'll stop in Omaha for two days and then we'll be in Madison a week early for the games. Tomorrow's a super long day so I'm gonna get a head start on packing tonight. Tonight I think I'm just gonna get all the weights in and call that good. All right, it's move day. It's time to get some stuff done. I've already done an ice bath and I have it draining. That's draining as well. This is the slowest part, actually draining the ice barrel. I do that first and while that's draining, I get everything else done. Next, I've got to get this pull-up rig into that truck. There's actually a reason why I do some things in this order. So for example, I have these tire covers and they go into this tub over here with the Starlink because they actually provide padding for the Starlink while we're traveling. I'm gonna head inside and I'm gonna pack up my desk so that I can start moving all of this stuff inside of the garage. Everything that goes in the GoPro goes in this bag. The most cumbersome thing in here is the rower of all things. All right, let's bring some stuff in. Push, kiddo, good job. This side is locked. So this RV has two propane tanks. We ran out on our external propane tank for the grill, so I took this one out of the RV so we could cook burgers. It's time to go do some dirty work here. I've already emptied the black tank. I've flushed the black tank. I have the gray tank filled up with like soapy water, so I'm gonna pull the plug on that to let the soapy water run through the hoses. I'm gonna let the back tank empty. That has laundry water from it, so that's gonna clean out the inside of the hoses. It's actually not that dirty. Let's do it. Right, see this water? That's just pretty clean water. Just gray water from the sink in the shower. Sewer is done. Most of the outside is done. While I'm doing the outside work, my wife is inside doing the inside work and she has got all this packed. Silver so in the sink. This coffee is all coming with me. There's my breakfast, which is awesome. All this will just stay on the counters. This is what it looks like before the slides come in. And back here, is the disaster that I packed. We're at a rest stop in Nebraska somewhere and we've been driving for like five hours. So definitely time to take a quick break, take a walk, let our dog go pee. We'll go to the bathroom. This is one of our longest drives from Denver to Omaha. We're getting there. Go, 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 go. Go get him, go get him, go get him. Hey, that's a good boy. Here we go. It's time for gas. I got my diesel pump glove. My Capital One card was declined because they thought it was fraudulent. So dealing with that right now. Yes, yes, cool. Thank you so much. So that's cleared up. We got a tank full of gas. This has actually been two fairly stressful gas station situations. The first one, it was just hard to find a gas station. The second one, 
is waiting in line and burning up like 30 minutes at least, just waiting to get gas. Now I'm just waiting for someone to get out of my way so I can go. I just wanna get going. I remember when we used to do like road trips and there was like, if I read a book, I would get sick. So I didn't read and I would just sit there or listen to like the same Guns N' Roses tape. Front side, flip it. Back side, flip it. Front side, flip it. Back side, like 12 times. That was my road trip. Not limitless internet access. Here's what we got. I'm solo, it's dark out, it's a back in spot. This is gonna be a tough, tough one to back into. I'm gonna give it a go. It was pretty dark out last night, so it was hard to film the setup, but we got ourselves all set up here. I had burgers from the grill last night at 11 o'clock, but got dinner in. We've got the truck, the Tesla back there charging, and I was able to set up the ice barrel, so that's what's on the plan for this morning. Time for some coffee and breakfast. We're just outside of Omaha, Nebraska, so I'm gonna go to CrossFit Kinesis to get some training in. I'm just gonna fill up all my water bottles for my session. Starting off with beta alanine from Black Label Supplements. Inside that same bottle, I'm gonna put a packet of Element. That's essentially my primary pre-workout. And this big bottle, I'm doing two scoops of Black Label whey protein. It's gonna be pretty hot out there, so I'm gonna bring some Gatorade. And Black Label has this pure power pre-workout. I've really liked it. It's got peak ATP in it, which is supposed to be great for us. So this has been part of my pre-workout as well. So first I have that peak performance, and I just take this like a shot. Then I'll drink this beta alanine slash element on the way to the gym. Whey protein, post-workout, Gatorade. That is pretty amazing. Probably can do a second session there, so I'm gonna go ahead and get another pre-workout going here. The first session is lots of lifting. The second session, Boulder Athlete today is uh, big Metcons, a couple of big ones. Eat some lunch out and then do a second session out there. We'll see how the day goes. This is what Prospect Kinesis looks like. Let's get to work. Part one is done. I'm gonna chill out for a couple of minutes, have a bite to eat, get a little bit of work done on my phone. Such a great gym. Everyone cheering each other on at the end, regardless of what workout you're on. It's awesome. Time for Pyramid Helen. Mega session is done. Oh my God, that was long. There's an argument that I should have taken a break in there, but I, I actually paced myself pretty well. I took 10 to 15 minutes between each segment uh, and maybe a half hour between session one and session two. Not perfect, but I feel like I was able to push, get all that I need done. Ooh, now I'm gonna go home, eat all the food and get some work done for Boulder Athlete. Got big things coming. Here's a pro tip right here. You're gonna want to get your work done while wearing your Normatec boots. That's how it gets. When we get close to the games, the imbalance increases, doesn't decrease. Still working, the sun is setting, still going. Oh shoot, it's 8.45. All right, time to make dinner because my wife is deathly sick. So I've got to manage my way around all these kids <clears throat> and all their stuff. There she is, dead. Keep, keep your sick in there. I don't know where I'm sleeping tonight. You're welcome, that works out great. Time for some dinner. Made dinner for the boys, sent them in their room because they're sick, and I would like to get into a hotel right now because I don't want to get sick. Day two in Nebraska. It rained a lot last night. Man, things are soaked. Still got to do a cold plunge. Back at CrossFit Kinesis for day two. We travel again tomorrow, so this first workout of the entire session. Wall walks, kettlebell work, pulling work. It's going to get a little bit grippy, good amount of fatigue, but you can chip through it. Two parts down, two to go.
Ooh, man, that was tough. After training for like four hours. So humid here that I'm soaked all the way through. So I am not sitting on the white seats of the Tesla. I'm sitting on a towel on this seat. Why don't you go shopping with me today? Shopping is done. I got myself a treat. Pretty excited. I'm actually gonna eat it in the car. It's games training time. It's nighttime. It's time for me to add this much salt. A scoop of thirdsy. Travel again tomorrow. And I just want to get a good night's sleep. Thirdsy and salt. Salt so that I don't wake up and pee in the middle of the night. And thirdsy so I get a really great recovery. That's how we do it. Good night. We've got a long trip to Madison today, so I'm gonna get in the ice bath and start packing it up and get out of here in an hour. That's the plan. The whole goal is just don't break anything. Normally we have hookups, but uh, some campsites don't have hookups. So we store and then we got to dump. It's actually not that big of a deal. Two and a half hours to go. Can't wait to get there. It's a very familiar spot. Been there the past two years in the same RV spot, so it'll be kind of fun. Almost to Wisconsin. Just looking out for it. It's right there. We're here. Time to train for the last week before the CrossFit Games. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, click that like button, subscribe, and share with a friend. And as always, our best days are ahead of us, guys. Get bolder, not older. <laughs>